everyone today's video is going to be about uh, this really cute terracotta doll wall hanging let's see how we can make this as you see uh, i have a flat slab i'm using the fifth one in the jhumka mold cutting off and i get four such pieces using a round shaped cookie cutter i cut off this is for the um, the head part these are um, for the hands and the legs which can be uh, which rather resemble uh, something like uh, you know a bit of a long cylindrical or a more like a carrot shaped bead at the end uh, rather at the uh, top part of the bead i would be fixing a, a nichrome wire that's a gauge 26 nichrome wire that's been made into a u pin and i fix uh, all four it would be better if all of these are actually done uh, in this particular order using another cookie cutter i'm starting to design uh, the face which is really really easy this is a needle tool just doing a little bit of the hair uh, if you can say so this is a really really cute one uh, you know you can just be very creative with the whole thing design it in the way you want i am literally just using parts of a pen in order to put this entire uh, make this entire design with a pair of stick beads uh, i'm just making cute little uh, you can say a ear or anything you want a triangular shaped using again a cookie cutter I'm using a fettling knife to just draw a couple of designs on this. Using a needle tool now. The amount of design or detailing you want to do is completely up to your choice. You don't really have to do uh fill it up this much. You want you can keep it plain or you can also do it a lot simpler. Using my fettling knife again and followed by a nozzle. So I'll repeat that uh, for the other conical shaped one as well. We begin to fix now. Obviously, these carrot shaped beads are a little bit dry, which is why I'm able to hold them a little bit more easier. So it'll be good if it is done uh, prior and at least dried so that you can hold it comfortably, so that you can fix it in this manner. now that the parts the individual parts are ready we can bring it together put them together rather i'm using a gauge 24 for this purpose just because it has to hold on to the weight um that's why i'm using a gauge 24 here Now this is ready. <laughs> Cute, isn't it? Now obviously we let this dry and once it's dried it's fired in an electric kiln and uh, obviously once it's fired we begin to paint and assemble it. Now that this is fired it's really light in weight as you see it's it's small um and it's very very cute i have already laid out the colors as well as the paint brushes that i'll be uh, using for this particular uh, for painting this particular doll i'm using gold red black orange white and sky blue 
the brushes that I'm using here um, are my liner brush, a double zero, and uh, an eight or a ten. All round tip soft bristle brush. We start off with a diluted coat of black all over uh, the piece, everywhere. I mean the front, the back, every place. Now that it's dried, a couple of highlights using gold and this is undiluted thick gold paint that I'm just dabbing a little bit so that that particular design just gets highlighted. I'm just using a little bit of black paint to cover up whatever has seeped outside. Whatever little gold paint has, um, you know, kind of crossed the line uh, while dabbing. I'll do the same thing uh, for the hair part as well. Again, I'll repeat that that was undiluted thick gold paint. Now using sky blue I and my liner brush, I draw a little bit of detailing. red paint and my liner brush make it as colorful you want or you want to make it really simple it's totally up to you I'm using a little bit of orange paint for most of this uh, kind of work, uh, you'll see me use uh, either my double zero or my liner brush. It just seems to have much better control, um, you know, with how much paint you want to really apply. A few blue dots and then obviously a little bit of gold just to make that flower design kind of stand out now with some white we um, add we, rather we draw the eyes and um, the nose and the lips I'm adding as usual I think in most of my designs you'll see me do these little dots I've, I think I've repeated this a bunch of times that I really enjoy uh, doing those kinds of designs this is a very easy thing to draw uh, you know you really don't need uh, too much of too much of an expertise or anything of that sort it's really easy to draw and um, you can always, I mean, if you feel like it, you can always try practicing something like this on a piece of paper. I added a few designs to the uh, stick bead part as well. Now to the arms and the legs, I'm just adding a, a hint of gold paint just on the edges. And you'll see what kind of a difference it really makes. I, I, I kind of like this effect a lot. Now that the paint has dried, it's time to varnish. Give the bottle a good shake. Transfer some of the contents into a small container or a cup. And using a, a broad soft bristle brush you can apply a generous coat uh, all over the piece. You might have to do this in parts because obviously if you do everything together, it might, you know, stick with one another. So probably, you know, do it in parts, probably do one half, let it dry and then go on to the next part. Now it's time to assemble. Given that the varnish is also dried, I'm going to be using a 1.18 mm micro cord for this particular assembly. A couple of thread beads, uh, that's just black thread beads. And some wooden beads. Now I've, I luckily had some of these wooden beads which rather match very well with the colors that I have painted which is blue, orange and red. We put the cord through. one red bead a 
followed by a black thread bead then again a red wooden bead we repeat that on the other side as well keeping both the cords together we put in one thread bead put in an orange bead we do a simple knot just make sure that this knot is um well done so i leave about roughly about uh, say half an inch space and tie the next knot over there now this gap in between is um basically the space where it can be hung uh, on the wall for example if you want to put it up um you know on your uh, on a door or on a wall or a pillar or wherever it is you might want to put a little nail there and that little half inch space is where you can actually hang this uh, particular doll So now that the second knot is uh, rather the next knot is also secure we continue with assembling the remaining uh, beads If you think that the cord in the end gets too frayed uh, you can always apply a little bit of fevicol or any kind of a glue at the tip and just let it dry for a couple of minutes uh, so that it becomes a little sharp uh, more like a needle so that you're able to put put in uh, rather cord the beads more easily We seal this with another knot make sure it's tightly done we can cut off the excess just burn the tips so that they don't get frayed be very careful while doing this it's it's really nice it's colorful um i think it will make for a great gift um it's really colorful and uh, i really hope you all enjoyed watching this video as you saw how easy it was to actually make this entire piece the only thing that might take some time is making the individual pieces and letting them at least set for a little while before you know assembling them together so that's it i really hope you enjoy this video please do give it a try and uh, let me know uh, what you think in the comment section please don't forget to leave your feedback if you like the video hit the like button do share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching